I came to Canada in December 2014. In China, I was a geologist in the oil industry. During my first two years in Canada, I was researching what I could do, and I found vegetable has a big market. And finally, I made my mind to become a vegetable farmer. In North China, it can also get really cold. But people have been using this passive solar greenhouse to grow commercial vegetables. So I thought this could be a good opportunity to use this technology to grow vegetables in Alberta. With a conventional greenhouse, you need something to keep it warm during the cold months. So usually you're using natural gas, but with a passive solar greenhouse, you don't need that at all because what you're using is the warmth of the sun, a bit of insulation, and something called thermal mass. The remarkable thing is that he's been able to extend the growing season. The fact that he's able to grow tomatoes in November in a place like Alberta, that's just, it's unheard of out here. He's technically an oil and gas guy, and he came out here to do that job, and he pivoted. I think it's really fortunate that we've been able to be on this ride with Johnny, just to see his successes and the fact that so many people are interested in recognizing the great work that he's doing. I think in the future, we're gonna see more of this locally because more people are looking for local produce. The impact for me personally is it, it's almost like a form of therapy, especially in the winter, to come out to the greenhouse and to get your hands dirty and participate in something you believe in. Johnny is really open about how to farm and he's also really busy, but he still really made time for when I came out to sit down and tell me about what he's implementing, what he's gonna do different next year. And then he takes the time to also teach me practically some skills of how to take care of the plants. And that's part of why he does YouTube is he also wants to get out to a wider audience and teach other people so that if they can't come out and volunteer locally, that they can still learn those skills. And I think be inspired that this is possible. We can do this in Canada.